Good morning. Today I'm going to explore Dominica. <laughs> This is Portsmouth, the north side of the island, and today we're going to explore mostly the south side of the island. Let's go! Left, 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 drive on the left. That's what I'm going to keep telling myself the whole day. Today we're driving around Dominica, trying to visit most of the highlights. Our starting point is Portsmouth on the north side of the island. Most of the known highlights are on the south side of the island. The easiest route there would have been along the west side of the island, which is where most of the towns and cities are. We decided to take the longer, more mountainous route along the east side of the island. It should take about two hours to reach our first viewpoint, the Emerald Pool Waterfall. We're on the way to a bunch of sites, highlights, but really, the journey is the destination. Gosh, this beautiful here. I think there's probably a lot to do on the north side of the island, but most of the sites are on the south side, and the south side is where the big ferries arrive. So it makes sense because that is where all the tours start for the, for the ferries. All these cars have these massive blinds, which makes it good for the sun, a little harder to uh, see the environment. View restaurant, so that's where we're going now. It cannot be this green without a lot of rain. They're doing a lot of constructions on the road in Dominica at the moment. Are you ready for Highland View restaurant? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Isn't it View restaurant? Oh wow, look at that. It's apparently not really open because it's not really a breakfast place, but there is somebody who is preparing for the afternoon and they have chicken and bread. So chicken and bread, it is, and coffee. We have to just go with the flow. <laughs> We've driven around half of the island now. What do you think until now? Uh, a part of me feel like uh, in, in Colombia. Because it's, it's, it's so tropical, it, it is muy tropical and, and it's, it's so cute, it's muy bonito. And if you if you drive here, do you need a taker because the the ways are broken? Stand last el camino. I'm very grateful that even though they had nothing prepared, they still managed to make us something. Looks pretty good. That was 34 EC, 11 US dollar for two breakfasts, two coffee. Nice! Before continuing the video, a short break. This video is sponsored by BetterHelp. We've been getting a lot of comments lately about how happy I am, how happy we are, which is all really true. I'm so, so grateful for all the time that we have already spent together. But how is that different from when we first met? I saw someone with a beautiful smile, a handsome person, but with a shadow. What are you making? Pancakes. Mmm. This is my Netherlands specialty. Woohoo! Mmm. I was a little depressed and uh, this video is sponsored by BetterHelp, a company I actually used at the time. And I want to briefly talk about mental health. This is delicious. Thank you. 
I was a little depressed because I didn't believe anymore that two people could happily live on a small boat together anymore. Which you happily proven me wrong. On the other hand, I never really learned to deal with my emotions properly. Instead of dealing with them, what did we do a lot instead when we met? And uh, drink wine. Yeah. I quit drinking a couple weeks after we met. Do you remember what else I did? Just started online therapy. I started online therapy by BetterHelp, which was recommended by a friend of mine. Maybe the people don't understand how do you feel depressed uh, when you live your dream life. You'd be surprised how much emotions you can have if you put your heart and soul in a video and then sit in front of the computer when it goes online and hoping you get nice comments. How do, how do you feel about this all? Uh, for me this is all new and I am really happy that the most of the comments are so nice. BetterHelp is online therapy and what I like most about BetterHelp is that I've done therapy in the past which is always on a fixed price. We said BetterHelp is the same but because you can send text messages and voice messages to your therapist in between the sessions I felt like I was getting a lot more worth for my money. The main reason why I like therapy is that sometimes it's really nice to let everything out at somebody who you don't personally know or where you don't have to feel guilty about the next time you run into them unlike stories you tell on YouTube just like my YouTuber friend forwarded me to BetterHelp at the time maybe one day you'll thank me for it there's a link in the description of this video and in the comment section betterhelp.com slash Hoop and Daniela where you get a 10% discount on your first month okay back to the video and now we're going to Emerald Pool Waterfall Vamos, let's go! It's already past noon, we gotta go because we still have a lot of things on the planning. The next thing you're gonna like, but I'm not gonna say what it is. <laughs> Are you ready for some hot springs? See, si. yeah, you know that I love the hot springs. How is it? Delicious. Number two. This is really fantastic guys, the stonework is beautiful. I have a lot of admiration for the person who built this. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy a little bit now and see you after. Distances are quite long here. I wanna visit two more waterfalls, it's 2 p.m. now. Oh, that's pretty. And uh, 
So the Victoria Falls are the most beautiful. That's an hour and a half driving. Uh, really close by are the Trafalgar Falls. Going there first and then hopefully for sunset, still have time enough to make the second one, the big one. It's only 10 minutes. I think we're going to make it to the uh, Victoria Falls after this. En un día como este me siento afortunada por poder disfrutar y conocer lugares así. Well, if the Victoria Falls are bigger than this one, they must be really nice. So let's go. The reason I didn't do all these things the last time, the last year here, is because I was on a, a lot tighter budget. And because of one, the boat breaking down less, and two, we make a bit more money, thanks to our patrons. Uh, because of that, we can do things like rent a car and actually go see these places. We came to a roadblock. It seems you cannot continue here. Just like the people on the roads, um, this road is closed. We can only get there if we go all the way back to the town, around, and it's gonna take two hours. We're not gonna make that before sunset. Oh well. very rainy so we're going to the laundry and uh, to the supermarket for vegetables and fruits and bring away the trash and fill some water let's go This is sweet potato. Sweet potato, and this is dania. Dania? Yes. And this is uh, ginger. Ginger and tamari. And what's this? Saboti. Saboti. Yes. And what what is this? P potato. Tania. Tania. We're buying all the fruits and vegetables. We're gonna make freezer bags with the whole freezer full for the future. I love it here that there's so many vegetables and fruits that I've never heard of that I'd love to try out someday. Are you ready for the fruit and vegetable cut party? Yeah, it's my party today in the cooking and you are invited. <sighs> All of this was about 40 US in total. Danny, what are you doing? In I am cutting one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is such a great way e to cut 11, the onion. Eleven onions. <laughs> <laughs> like seriously, it looks uh, interesting, but this is such a great way if you don't wanna. Wait. You don't wanna cry. There's actually three reasons why we do this. Number one is fruit and vegetables are very cheap in Dominica and they're also very good. Number two is you're not always close to a place where you can buy them. And on the boat, they actually go bad very fast, much faster than in a house because the temperature inside here is just during the day a lot higher here in the Caribbean in the boat than normally in a house. Number three is like, 
I am so lazy. Like when I fry an egg, like cutting garlic and uh, ginger is just like often like I'm like, oh, I don't wanna. So I rather spend like the whole evening cutting these things, putting in the freezer and then for the next week still be like easy to grab and make something healthy. And every single time we're gonna cut one of those things. This kind of things I can call happiness. <laughs> this is like you can be happy in the life with the uh, si si simple things. It's <laughs> <laughs> a nice, how do you say, hack, nice hack or nice truco in the kitchen. A life hack. L life hack. Life, uh, yeah, life, life hack for the kitchen. And all people that is look me in this moment that need cooking for for the family or for other people this is nice <laughs> The first dinner with the freezer vegetables is ready. What did you make? Chicken and platano. That looks delicious. Thank you. You're welcome, baby. We're going to try to go to the Victoria Falls. After missing it the last time, we really felt like it should be part of this video. We don't have the car anymore. So we're going to try to go by bus. It's all the way on the other side of the country. So I hope it's possible. It should be two buses to the Victoria Falls. You think we're gonna make it today? I hope that we can go to the Victoria Falls. <laughs> Ready to the bus stop? Thank you. Just got some breakfast. Let's go. to the main bus station in Rousseau. Apparently this is not where the bus goes to. Delice is the place we have to go. To go over there and at the end left. Always everything goes to plan. Uh, we can go there by bus, it's on the other side of the, the island, but we can't come back, there is no bus back. For this week we've decided to give up to see the waterfall, <laughs> maybe another week. So we're going for a run now, we were thinking maybe it's fun to talk about are there any cultural differences between a European and a Latin American girl living together on a small boat.
notice some of those stereotypical cultural differences. Let's quote a few things on the internet. Uh, LearnDutch.org says, if you want to make a Dutchman happy, then what do you need to do? Everything has to be in order. The Dutch like everything uh, to be planned, to live by their agenda. Is that true? It's 100% true. <laughs> 100% uh, Yeah, so um, you want to explain why? <laughs> yes, um, I like it and it's, it's true and it's a thing that, uh, that he shared with me because I want to incorporate this in my life. I think it has a lot of good and bad things at the same time. I really need to live according to an agenda but then the issue is when it doesn't go as planned like uh it's sometimes a little difficult for my mind and that's a challenge because in travel almost never anything goes as planned so i can really learn a lot from your more spontaneous i feel that in pride of you because i, I want to be like you Aww. in the in the planning uh, i want to be a little bit more like you <laughs> The second one is, which is about uh, dating a Latin girl. Take dance lessons. Latin dance isn't just dancing, it's basically sex on the dance floor. And you don't want to disappoint. Well, I am terrified of dancing with you. Because naturally you have this hip movement that is so, so sexy. And my natural movements, I feel like, uh, do you know those movies where they go back to the hippie time and people dance like this, this, the chicken dance? I feel like that's more like my natural dance state. It is terrible. So we dance, we've done it before. And I just feel like I am, I don't know, I, I, I feel it's a big, I want, I, want, I want to dance more and take dance lessons, but it's, you see a group of, Latin girls dance and you just sit there in the corner and you're like ah Can I have another drink, please? I'm just gonna keep sitting here. Just, I don't drink anymore. Anyway, another one from the same website as before being very direct Foreigners find the Dutch directness strange to begin with nothing unnecessary is said. Am I direct? Same <laughs> Dutch people is so direct it's like, well, you know, when you date, you just, in the first date, you just want to know, like, is this going to work? How are you going to be when we live together? How is our future going to be? And then at the end of the date, you have a big good image of if it's, if it's going to work or not. I mean, what's the point of small talk? It's a character is that, that is so douche. I try be like... Uh, so direct, but no, it's a thing that with my personality, uh, no. The last one for today, she is used to be taken care of and she's used to taking care of people. <sighs> you are so affectionate, so sweet, and it's just, it's so easy to live with you together in a small, uh, space and, and I, I'm not the judge to say how much of that is actually cultural cultural and how much is that you as a person I really notice how hard you try to make this relationship work you help with editing the videos and you really do your best to help with everything thank you for that <laughs> Let, let us know if you like these conversations and then we'll do more of them in the future. <laughs> See you next time.